Hello everyone. We're going to start our fourth and final topic in this series of how to create a data warehouse, a data mart, or a reporting database. So really, how do we do this? Where do we start? How do we start this kind of process out? We know we wanted one, we know why, when, what it is, so how? Well, original back to our diagram here of that we have multiple systems all creating data. We need data from those systems to be consolidated so that we can take data and make information. Really the piece in the middle is we've got to take business logic and we've got to use tools to extract data from those source creation, from the data creation systems, the sources, and actually help merge, match, apply that logic to the database where we can then do centralized reporting. So again, we've got all of these areas, a CRM, operational system accounting, HR, we need to bring those together. So really, how you do this is you've got to set a goal for the project and you want to think of it in this way is you're going to do what and you're going to get what out of it. So you're going to move data from these two systems and consolidate it and when you do that you will be able to do this X better. So you really want to begin with a purpose so that you have a goal in mind, something that you can achieve and something that has measurable results. So first off too, understanding and documenting the business logic and the rules is the biggest part. There are so many things going on probably by a person or through elements inside of the organization that have to be documented and understood. And then you need to align and agree on all of those things. That's another big part. So first off, what is being done to the data and the logic behind it to make sense of it? Then you all have to agree that that's the way you want to go forward with it and that that's the way the business is going to perform and look at that information going into the future. A good idea too is to create some data flow diagrams. So it really follows along with the idea that data starts here, it changes here, and we create information here. So that everybody can visually and logically walk through how the data is created, what happens to it, and how you guys then in the end report or use it for decisions. You're going to need to define your platform. So what kind of database are you going to put this in? What kind of ETL tools, extraction, transformation, and loading tools are you going to use? You're going to use reporting tools. You're going to use visualization tools. So you want to define that kind of thing. It sets a direction and a pace for a project. And they're very important to, to have those at least in mind when you're going about this. You got to have skills and know-how, obviously. So that's how you accomplish it from a technical perspective is people have to understand how to consolidate data, how to move data from one system to another, and how to organize it so that it's good to visually use for visual reporting or to make sense of. So you also want to work in short sprints. What you thought would be sprint two may change based on the outcome of sprint one. So you want to break the whole project up or, or the development into shorter sprints that have you have the ability to take a breath after each one and reevaluate the progress of the project and see, wow, we just did this, we got this, do we still want to do what we thought was next or did our priorities or plans change? You want to get rollout in, uh, pretty early on, right, of the sprints, breaking a project into sprints, the sprints allow you to get information out, get some things produced and you want to get it into the end user's hands so that you can get buy-in from them. You want them to be a proce uh, part of the process of developing this data mart or data warehouse. They're going to have a lot of feedback for you. You want to embrace that and be able to change them to adapt based on their input. They're going to be some of your biggest advocates. And then obviously you need to focus on accuracy and not so much on the output or the visuals. Lots of people get hung up on, oh, we want these cool graphs or charts or these kinds of dashboards. And, and although they're valuable and nice to look at, really the accuracy is what's going to sync your project. You can change the visuals, you can add new things to it, you can make them slicker, but bad accuracy erodes the trust with the, uh, with the users and with the organization, right? So the data has to be right. So the business logic has to be right. And those are where you should focus all of those, all a lot of your efforts and make sure that you get all of those components right. Then how you produce that, how you roll it out to the users, how you visualize it becomes much easier as you already have trust with the accuracy of the data. And the last piece is I would you, uh, avoid using code. So when you go out and you write a lot of scripts and you write a lot of this stuff by hand, it becomes unmanageable over a period of time and it becomes quite unruly and then it's hard for multiple people to work on that. And so a little bit of advice is, is uh, as you're moving through this and using something to define the business logic and standardize the data, you're going to want to use an extraction, transformation, and loading tool. It's called an ETL tool. And so. Um, 
anything else, if you want to get help with what, when, and why or of your data and within your data warehousing journey, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you and help you through that. Um, a little bit about us. We've been in business since 1998, and we've seen all sorts of different environments in various industries, and we know we can help. So whatever you're looking for, feel free to reach out, and thanks for watching our video.